Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever. We are continuing off from last episode where we constructed our first rail line. Now this rail line, of course, is going to be needing upgrading here soon because this episode we will be expanding our rail capabilities beyond just uh, shipping stone to the... Oh, what is this? This is the construction materials plant and then shipping these materials elsewhere. We will now be... Uh, planning to ship people in between towns and then also supplying towns with their own set of goods and materials So if we take a look. I went ahead and pre-planned kind of some station areas here And this is kind of my my base template now. These are small stations. They're not anything great or uh, anything spectacular by any means but they will uh, provide some services in general to our town. So uh, We're gonna be probably starting with people um, and we're going to be connecting the town of East Grinstead to uh, Mayor. And so Mayor, here's the station here for that one. And you can see we are, we're a little northernly. Um, I would say that we're not actually quite into town just yet. But as the town expands, hopefully towards the direction of our station, things will become a little bit better. But also we'll have to supply these guys with bus routes and things to hopefully I guess pick up the slack in terms of people moving around so this is my concept for a station we have a simple freight and a passenger station next to each other and we have one entryway one exit point uh, these do converge and uh, kind of merge together uh, down the line back to one exit one entry and in fact it looks like this one wasn't quite built right. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I had to merge that over here just because of the curvatures not lining up. But <clears throat> as long as it, it funnels down, it's pretty much the same. So what we need to do is work on connecting these to our main rail line, going left to right across the map, and then also we need to expand our rail line to allow for uh, basically a permanent two-track system here. Get it up to a good height. Okay, so that might end up working. So we'll give it a little bit of breathing room. Nice gentle slope upwards. Clear this train track. Doing bridges in this game, it's a I find to be challenging. There's no grid system in Transport Fever, so. There we go. Not shortening quick enough. Just to see what it does. Too much curvature, too much slope. whole lot of trial and error, isn't it? Impressive, really. So this is the entry point from the top rail there. Because eventually we need this to be able to basically be virtually... Um, there we go. Kind of crosses a lot of streets. Now normally... In like Transport Tycoon, I wouldn't mind making bridges or underpasses over these roads uh, just so traffic bec doesn't become an issue once we have vehicles. But really, it's kind of so early on that I doubt it will be a problem. So this is the entrance that needs to go to the left there. You can just see this bridge is way too long. It just doesn't look great. So we may have to spiral it. A little bit here. Now, I am spending a lot of money just for trial and error's sake. I 
And you can see that's not over far enough still. You know what? That might that might line up. So let's making sure we can get this straight so that the curve isn't going to be too much or anything like that. Ugh, that's such a weird slope. What do we got? Transport millionaire, accumulate a fortune of one million without debt. Our funds are increasing. I have to flatten this out again. How much did that cost? 50,000? Ugh. All right, great. Let's do normal speed. Still too much slope. And now I left this nasty looking thing left over. Too much curvature. Still too much slope. I wish there was a way to force it to just use a bridge. Like it's trying to do something that I really don't want it to do. See, raise with M and N. Yeah, no. That's just hotkeys for what we were already doing. Okay, so take this straight across. Right now the now the bridge isn't even getting built the way I need it to. Oh. Okay, let's smooth this out. Cut it back a little bit. So that I can regenerate the terrain. Man, to get things looking good, it's just a chore. And what I wouldn't give to just have a straight bridge. All right. Let's get rid of all that. Let's flatten this section out. Taking just more and more of our money, but normal speed, luckily, even though we are, you know, losing money by sitting at normal speed and still working quite diligently, um, it's going to prevent us from having to spend money on, like, upgrading vehicles, so that is, it's a bonus of some kind, you could say. Okay, so that, that is what I'm looking for. Not really centered on the actual train tracks. Dang, shame on that. Um, we'll see if we can get better as we progress through the series about making these overpasses correctly. So this is the right lane. And let's go ahead and 
do that. And then this lane. Can do something like that. And that will cover both the... Both pathways can now enter the station there. And now we need to figure out the, the next kind of opposite curl so that when we leave we can exit the station correctly so let's just follow this across to about there really mimic the bridge and then we should be able to just grab this and curl it the opposite direction which we can now do something like that. We'll go ahead, connect this up fully. And then from there, now we don't want to waste energy going up the slope, so we'll stay down low and curve back like that. Okay, so that's, that is a simple connection point. And when I say simple, I mean overly complicated and uh, unnecessary. But we, we made it through just fine. Um, I don't even know if there's a proper term for this, but it does look like a heart, if you think about it. And I don't even know if they make these like this. Um, it's just kind of me. This is just the design that I've always used in like Transport Tycoon. So now that's connected fully to that train line and station down there, which we need to go ahead and build uh, the variant up here, which is actually going to be a little bit different. Um, the connection point you can see is totally off. Um, this doesn't loop around fully. And so we're going to have to use probably a more simple, straightforward method here. And what we'll do is simply bring this over here close to the tracks get rid of these signals and we will do a curve like that and then I think we might have to do a loop. Can you tell that I don't know what I'm doing? Because it feels like I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. Let's try that. And... No. That's not going to work. Oh boy. This is going to be a little harder than I thought it would be. This entryway, we can hopefully do kind of the same trick. As before, though, you always have to make sure you have enough distance here. There we go. Now this might have to be a curved bridge. This wouldn't look too bad. I mean, I'm sure it's possible for that to happen anyways. Okay, so we'll go straight and around? No. How about around now? Let's go around this way. 
Okay, so to get into the town from the opposite direction, we'll have to go through this giant loop just to cross over. Which really I'm fine with. And then from this direction, it's a much more simple kind of procedure here. Or it was going to be a simple procedure. Never is. Okay. So that's the entry point. In the exit, we'll pretty much have to do the same thing. So get a good running start. Something like that. All right. And then it can curve around. And head back that direction. Or it can simply... Go to the tracks this direction, like so. I mean, is that is that terrible? I probably would have enjoyed something a little nicer looking, but it, it passes quality control, I think, just enough. Still making money by. Selling our freight and construction materials, it looks like. So we have wagons of construction going into East Grinstead. And now, let's go ahead and set up a line. So we can get construction materials over here to Mare. So let's zoom out, hop over here. So we're going to there and uh, to here. So that is a yellow line. Call this um, Mare Construction Line. Okay. Now I'm thinking two, maybe three trains top on that one because traffic's going to be coming an issue here soon. So let's go ahead and buy a train. Uh, let's just get the Borsig. I mean, like, in terms of price, I think it's the most logical one to do. And then construction materials are these state cars. Which we can do, I guess, five. That's fine. I did find the clone train vehicle here. Um, though it has to be in the depot for this button to work. So you can just, well, not clone it because you don't have enough money. Let's take some money out. So borrow, borrow, borrow. Clone and clone, not clone. Borrow one more. Okay, there we go. You... <clears throat> head out to line yellow and also what you need to do is make sure all your stops and things are up and running probably something I should have been doing as well before getting another train okay so those are those stopping locations Okay, that and to y'all, y'all and y'all. Okay, there we go. Now this train can actually come here. 
without causing a massive pileup because and delays. Little little crazy of an episode trying to lay these out. But I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Probably yelling at me the whole time. Uther's, you know, actually you uh, could have done an official T-junction L-shape here and would have saved you about 23 seconds off your line time. Oh, I know that. But, uh, you know, I'm doing it this way just to annoy every single one of you who know more about I. So... That is all laid out. In fact, let's go ahead and confuse ourselves with what direction these lines are going. Okay, just like that. And then this one. Just like that. So that is all the lights reestablished. And hopefully no traffic still, so that is good. Let's go ahead and release train number two to the construction line. Has the first one arrived there yet? No. In fact, we don't even have construction materials waiting yet. Not a great sign. But let's get these traffic items lined up. So this is the on ramp, right? So this is where they're coming from. Oh, nope. Wrong direction. Okay. You don't want it. There we go. Sometimes you have to get pretty close to the track so you can be accurate with your placement of these things. Okay. And then right after the merge, and then the new merging area, the leaving area, merging area again. And then these. And the timing of all your trains kind of naturally work out. There is probably ways to make it more efficient uh, and rerouting kind of manually. Something that I don't know how to do. But I'm sure you guys do. Okay, and we'll go ahead and do that. And then this one here looks like it got removed at some point. And then here. We're out of money. Okay, we're, we're broke, we're poor. Nothing new though, we've been poor before and we can recover with construction materials, hopefully. Let's go ahead and release the third and final train of the construction line. Now is the first train arrived yet? This is a bit of a longer episode, hope you guys don't mind by the way. Let's see, where is the first construction train at? Uh, nowhere to be found? Question mark? I don't see it at all. That has me a little worried. Those are stone. That is... Construction. Stone. Construction. Construction. Wow, the first train hasn't even made it there. I mean, I guess playing on normal speed, it is literally that slow. But I want I want to make sure everything's kind of working, so that's why we're we're just kind of taking a little bit of extra time. In fact, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and ride a train. I think you guys will like that. So let's find one here. And then reestablish all these little stoplights real quick. Okay, so that's one construction. That's a stone. So we'll ride 
We'll ride the train into Mare. That way it looks like we're kind of approaching the town, so. Here we are at the pickup. Hello, other train. Whistle away, whistle away. We'll do a quick 180 here. Get turned around. And off we go. Hello, horse and buggy. You guys are constructing this town here. And now we'll follow and uh, head home. Quickly and efficiently. Going about 40 kilometers an hour. That's relatively quick, but we'll get faster as we get better trains. And as we get better trains, we can make the trains longer. Requiring less trains, actually. So as you cruise along, passing the neighboring town. Hello, hello. Other trains. This is quite the busy route now. Uh, with the two lines kind of working in tandem permanently through this whole corridor. Hello, hello. Yes, yes. Now, it looks like uh, I'm going to need some signals here. Must have forgot to relay them in our double line work construction. Now, in DC here, the red line, which is the main line that I live on, is under construction. And it's pretty rough out there. So, uh, you know, train tracks can be high maintenance. There's another dead spot that I'll have to kind of go back in and fix. Now, you can use these signals to kind of space out your trains, kind of give give them a decent lead. So, you know, maybe for spacing reasons. Like, look at this. This is quite the long area here. And, you know, I could probably put two stops in that section just to make sure things are moving smoothly. Even here, this is another longer area. But here we are approaching the mayor, I guess, exchange bypass area. Where we will simply go up and to the right and head into town. Now you can see the industry really smoking along here. But this is still like 1880 or something. So pollution is going to be a problem. To make that connection. Hello train. Hello. So you get to see the wagons. This is our food shuttle coming into town by the looks of things. And we have... Arrived. How much money did that make us? About 71k. Not bad. It wasn't a full full load, but I can look at the finances and tell you once we get into that full load category, these trains should be making a overall net profit and creating some income for us. If you look the construction line, we're, we're losing, we're bleeding money on it. We're also bleeding money on the mayor work line, which. Hopefully when we upgrade to do the passenger line, will be better as well. But, I mean, half a million on the quarry line, quarter of a million on the grain livestock, uh, about 150 on the bread shuttle. So we're doing okay. Anyways, I think that's where we're going to leave it off on this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any tips, tricks for trains, or any suggestions on where we want to work on next industry-wise, Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Check out my other videos if you feel like it, if you're new. And uh, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Train Fever.